Welcome to the Mornings with Mel podcast, where every morning, Monday through Friday, we open up God's Word together and seek to know God, love God, and live our life for Christ. I am your host, Melissa Feist. Welcome to another episode of Mornings with Mel. It is Monday, and so whether you are listening in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, I'm excited to start out another week with you and in the Word with Jesus. So let's jump into the passage. And today we're going to be going through Matthew 18, verse 12 to 13. It's Jesus talking, and he says this. He says, What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, Does he not leave the 99 and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? And if he should find it, assuredly, I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the 99 that did not go astray. And I don't know about you, but I have had seasons where I have read this exact passage and I'm like, Lord, I think that that's me. I think I am that one little sheep who's gone astray that feels like everybody's way up there, but I'm over here all by myself, struggling, lost, don't know where to go. I feel like I'm behind. I feel like I should be better than I am right now. God, I feel like I'm that sheep. And I think we've all had seasons where we felt like that. Because our walk with Jesus isn't just a step-by-step progression. It's not like I start out at the bottom and I just progressively go up each step and my life is just better. No, our life in God is a journey. And in that journey, there's mountaintops where it's great and there's valleys where it's low. There's wilderness seasons where you're hungry and you're parched and you feel like you're going to die. And then there's seasons where he leads you by the streams and it just feels like everything is awesome. It's fruitful. So we all go on these journeys with the Lord. And so we all have seasons where we feel like, God, I don't feel okay and I need you to come help me. And this is the story of that sheep. But the story of the shepherd is this. It says, does he not leave the 99 and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? So picture it. Jesus loves you that much that when one of his sheep, one of you and me and his people, when one of us is straying and behind and lost, that he will leave the rest of them. It says, go to the mountains. I mean, going to the mountains is work. It's a hard, long journey. He will go to the mountains and seek the one that is straying. That means God is actively coming after us. God is leaping over hurdles. He's having to go through the treacherous whatever on the mountains in order to get one of us. That shows how much each one of us matters to him. And do you know that today? Do you know that you matter that much that God would actively seek after you when you're in need? When you're struggling, when you're straying, when you're lost and confused and can't find your way back to God, he would do that for you. It's not like he's like, well, here's 99 sheep. I guess that's good enough. No, he's like, each one matters. If one of my sheep is not here, I'm not okay. And I am going to get my sheep. The Bible says that God does not wish that one of his people should perish. Each one of us matters immensely to the Lord and to his heart that he would go to that length for us. And what if one of the avenues that God brings his people that have gone astray back to himself, what if his avenue in getting that one lost sheep back is using you and me? 
This weekend on our Ronnie and Mel ministry channel on YouTube, we had a live chat with all of our community, but in the chat, I didn't even see it because it was near the end. There was a girl who, it was clear she was this poor little lost sheep. She needed help. She was one of God's precious children, and yet she was going through a season where she was calling out for help. And you would not believe the response from our community. There was a girl who immediately put out her email and was like, oh my gosh, please contact me and I will get you the help you need. Other people were like, oh my gosh, let's all pray for her. Other people were sending her verses and trying to encourage her because it was clear she needed help. And what did God's people do? They wanted to run after the one who was lost, the one who needed help getting back to God. And even after that, people followed up with her. People were able to reach out to her to make sure that she was okay. And I think that sometimes we are that sheep and we need to call out for help. We need to cry out for God to come and save us. But I think other times we are the 99 but we are also the hands and feet of Christ, and he is asking us to reach out and go after the one. And what does it say at the end? It says, assuredly, I say to you, when he finds that one, he will rejoice over that sheep more than the 99 that did not go astray. When we, as the body of Christ, are able to bring those who were part of God's flock, but maybe have lost their way, when we can be a helper, when we can run after them and bring them back to God, he rejoices. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're that sheep. God rejoices when you come back. He's not condemning you that you got lost. He's not condemning you that maybe you went astray. No, he's rejoicing. Because he is about the relationship. He wants you. He wants your heart. And he wants that person that's astray. He wants their heart. He's not condemning them. He's calling them back to him. And when they come, he rejoices and we can rejoice with him. So how about you today? Which one are you? Are you that little lost sheep who needs Jesus to come and to put you on his shoulders and to bring you back to the flock? No, today that you matter to God and that he is actively seeking you. So open your heart to him today and call out to him to find you right where you're at. Or are you part of the 99 today? And is he inviting you to be his hands and feet and to go after the one who's gone astray today? And so if that's you, ask him to highlight maybe one person that you can pray for, that you can send a text to check on, or that you can reach out today with an encouragement, ask him who that one person is, and then pray and ask that he would be able to use you to bring back the one and to bring that smile to his face. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you are the perfect shepherd. God, that when we are that one sheep that has gone astray, God, that you would leave the 99 and come after us because we matter to you individually. You're not okay if one of us is far from you. So God, we thank you. And Lord, I lift up each one of my friends that may be feeling like that today, that they are that lost sheep that is away and that needs help. God, I ask that you would come to them. God, that you would put them upon your shoulders, that you by your spirit would bring them back to you and that you rejoice over them when they are found. And God, I pray for the rest of us, God, that you would help us today to see the one, God, to see the ones that are straying, to see the ones that are in need and hurting, to see the ones that need to be brought back to you, Lord, and that you would use us in whatever way it is and to help lead them back to you. So God, would you give us your heart today? Would you give us your heart for your sheep? Would you give us your heart for people? God, that we would be able to love and care for people the way that you love and care for people and actively go after them. God, would you give us that same heart and that same spirit? So Lord, we love you, God. And we ask that as we start a new week, would we start off this week asking, God, how can you use us? 
God, and how can we be closer to you if we are straying? We love you, God. Have your way in our hearts, in us, and through us this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Mornings with Mel. If you are loving this podcast, make sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. And we would love to hear how God is touching your heart in the reviews section. Also, if you think it might help someone you know, make sure to share it. And don't forget to tag us in at at Ronnie and Mel on Instagram so we can see who's listening. We are a nonprofit and couldn't do this podcast without our ministry partners. So to give, you can go to RonnieandMel.com slash giving or support our mission through our Christian clothing line at MarkedCollective.com. And for lots more free content and resources to help you find God and walk with Him, make sure to check out our website, RonnieandMel.com, or our YouTube channel, Ronnie and Mel. All that information is linked in the show notes, and as always, keep seeking Him.